Hello. Dear students, how are you all? Hope you are doing well. We are studying types of simple chemical reactions, and today we are going to study a very interesting topic that is what happens when a candle burns and some early experiments on air. Dear students, in this lecture we will do and learn following things in detail. First of all we will have an overview of previous lecture then we will study following things. 1. We will discuss composition of the candle. 2. We also learn about how candle burns and what a fire needs for safe burning. 3. We will also go through different ways of put out a fire. 4. And at the end we will discuss some experiments done on air. So let us start with recap of previous lecture. In the last lecture we have discussed in detail about the two types of chemical reactions with examples of each. 1. Displacement reaction. 2. Combustion reaction. Listen attentively. Now we are going to start today's lecture. Firstly we will discuss candle composition and how candle burns. Dear students. As we know candles are made from hydrocarbon called paraffin wax. A wick inside the wax burns when wax melts. Candle needs a gas in the air to burn, when this gas used up it goes out. That gas oxygen. Candle uses up oxygen from air and form water and carbon dioxide. We can express the combustion reaction of candle in the form of word equation. Candle wax which is made of hydrocarbon reacts with oxygen and produce carbon dioxide and water as an output. To explain the involvement of oxygen in burning I am going to demonstrate an experiment in front of you, which you can do very easily. Experiment on burning of a candle. The diagram shows a lighted candle standing in a tray of water. When a jar is put over the candle we can observe that candle flame goes out and water level inside the jar rises. This suggests that candle needs oxygen to burn. When we put a jar over the candle the jar cuts off candle air supply, candle goes out and water rises. Now in the light of this experiment we are going to study what a fire needs for safe burning. This experiment shows that one-fifth of the air is used up when something burns and that is because about one-fifth of the air is oxygen. A fire needs fuel to burn, oxygen for the fuel to react with and heat to keep the chemical reaction going on. You can observe combustion triangle which shows the things that are essential for a fire to burn. That is fuel, oxygen and heat. Dear students. At the end we are going to study different ways through which we can easily put out a burning fire. A fire can be put out by many ways. The best one method depends upon what is burning and where. Otherwise we can use any of the method to put out a fire easily and safely. Following are the three ways to put out a fire. 1. Removing the heat. We can remove the heat by cooling the fire with water, not safe for some fires for example electrical fires. You can observe in the diagram how fire brigade staff uses to put out fire by throwing water over it. 2. Removing the fuel. We can put out a fire by cutting off a gas supply. 3. Removing the supply of oxygen. You can observe in the picture that we can remove the supply of oxygen by using a fire blanket or carbon dioxide gas. Dear students now we are going to discuss last topic of today's lecture. That is some early experiments on air. In this topic we will learn about early experiments on air. We will study about experiments of the two well-known scientists. Experiment of Joseph Priestley and Experiment of Lavoisier. Early scientists thought that air was an element, a single substance that could not be broken down into anything else, which was later clarified by many chemists. Firstly we will go through the experiment of Joseph Priestley. In 1774 Joseph Priestley an English amateur scientist discovered oxygen although he did not know it at the time. For a long time, Priestley thought he had simply found a new kind of air in which things burnt much more brightly. Priestley discussed his work with French scientist Antoine Lavoisier. 2. Removing the fuel. We can put out a fire by cutting off a gas supply. 
3. Removing the supply of oxygen. You can observe in the picture that we can remove the supply of oxygen by using a fire blanket or carbon dioxide gas. Lavoisier explained his results by saying that air was a mixture of an active gas called oxygen and an inactive gas which we now call nitrogen. This was all about today's lecture. Hope you have learned about these things discussed here. At the end you are assigned to complete the given worksheet and copy all the question answers on your fair notebook. See you in the next class. Thank you for your attention and listening. Goodbye.